Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Aaron with U-Haul. If you're gonna be towing a trailer with your Jeep Wrangler JL, you're gonna need trailer wiring. It's required by the law. Let's go ahead and break down that install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete your installation. All right guys, our trailer wiring harness is gonna to connect to our vehicle's tail lights. We're gonna to need to remove these to start. Now to be able to remove these, we're going to get into our cargo area. So inside the cargo area on the driver's side paneling, we have a little cover right here that we're gonna need, we're gonna to need to remove. We're gonna use a trim panel removal tool. You could use a flathead screwdriver, that would work as well. So we're just gonna pop it off. And that exposes a white screw right here, which is holding our tail light in. We're gonna remove that using a 10 millimeter socket. So with that screw removed, we can just pull back on our tail light and it'll let us remove it. Now we're going to disconnect our wiring harness. We're gonna pull back on this red tab and we're gonna push down on that black tab. And that will allow us to remove it. And then we'll repeat the exact same process on the passenger side. All right, now that we have access to our vehicle's tail light harnesses, we're gonna take our T connector from our trailer wiring with the yellow and the brown wire, and we're gonna plug that into our driver's side tail light harness. Next, we're gonna ground our white wire with the ring terminal on the end. We're gonna be using our provided tap screw that comes with our kit. Now, inside here, we have this sheet of metal where there's nothing on the back side, there's no wiring or anything that could be damaged. We're just gonna put it right in there so it's hidden. Now we're going to attach our power wire to the black wire on our converter box. Now this is the power wire that comes with our kit. We're actually gonna be using our U-Haul exclusive power wire. This has protective loom on it that will help protect it from the elements while it's underneath the vehicle. And we'll go ahead and attach that using a heat shrink butt connector. And then we'll use a butane torch to use the heat shrink. All right, now that we're done on the driver's side, we're gonna take our power wire, our four flat wiring harness, and our green T connector, and we're gonna route it underneath the vehicle. Now, you can see that there's a spot right behind here where we can bring it down, so we're just gonna push that towards there. All right, now that we have all of our wires underneath our vehicle, we're gonna take our green T connector, and we're gonna route it to our passenger side. Now we're gonna go above our frame rails and we're gonna go over the heat shield right here, making sure that it doesn't come close to the exhaust so it doesn't accidentally melt. Let's go ahead and do that. To help get the green wire over the heat shield, we're gonna remove these two nuts that are holding the heat shield in place using an 11 millimeter socket. And then we'll go ahead and reinstall it. Now we're gonna pull it up through our passenger side right here. And then we'll go ahead and plug it in. So we don't want this extra slack to fall back down and get too close to the exhaust, so we're just gonna zip tie it to our wiring harness. And now we're gonna reinstall our tail lights.
Right now with all of our connections made, we're ready to run our power wire. We're gonna to need to connect this to our battery in the engine compartment, which is located on the passenger side. So we're gonna follow the same route that we did for the green wire, and then we're gonna follow the passenger side frame all the way up to the front. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, now, now along the passenger side frame rail, we have these tabs over here that are connected with bolts. We're just gonna go over all these tabs and secure it to those as we make our way down. All right, now that we've reached the end of our frame rail, we're gonna just go right above it, and we're gonna bring it up through our fender right here towards the battery. And then we'll pull it up. Now we're gonna attach our fuse holder to the end of our power wire. And we're gonna attach it to our positive terminal and take off this nut using a 10 millimeter socket. And then we'll reattach our nut. Then we'll insert our 15 amp fuse and put our cover on. Now we're gonna clean up all of our extra wire. We're gonna secure it using a zip tie. And then we're gonna tuck it in. And we're gonna zip tie it to these wires down here. All right, now we're going to secure our four flat harness. Now we routed it over our frame just like our other wires, but around our cross member, we put these zip ties around it where we're going to secure our four flat harness since it's not going all the way. So we're just gonna pull it through these zip ties. Then we're gonna take our wire and we're gonna leave it on the back and we'll tighten it up after we secure it. So our hitch comes with a mounting plate on it. So we will be using a four flat mounting bracket to secure our four flat connector. Now this does not come with our kit, but you can pick it up at your closest U-Haul hitch center. So we're just gonna take our hardware and we're gonna put it through the holes. And then we're gonna line up our bracket and we'll secure it using the nuts. And we'll tighten it up using a 3 8 socket. And then we'll pull our four flat connector through and we'll put the dust cap on. And now we'll tighten up these zip ties with the wiring behind the cross member. All right guys, your wiring is all powered up and you're ready to tow a trailer. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center 
or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.